on you guys okay so last week on Friday I uploaded a well very somber video well with that in mind I've got a well very upbeat video for you guys today all right so what I'm gonna do is this isn't really a countdown, more so like just a general list of movies that I recommend. Specifically movies from my childhood that I recommend for when you're having either either a really good day and you just just feel like watching a movie or if you're having one of those not so good days like if you're sick or generally really sad but whatever the case these are some movies from my childhood that I recommend to you when you're having your not so good days so without further ado let's get on with the video Okay, so a lot of people don't really remember Wallace and Gromit very much, but this movie really stood out to me because at first I didn't really like it that much, but that's only because I didn't really see the whole thing. And how I discovered it was my sister forced me to watch it with her, which I'm glad she did, because this movie, I gotta have, like, mixed feelings about it. Don't, don't get me wrong, it's a good movie, it's just there are certain scenes that make me sad, and I don't know, I don't know why, but of course, it's, well, hilarious. And, for all you Harry Potter fans out there, there are two actors from Harry Potter in this movie. The first is Bellatrix, in other words, Helena Bonham Carter. And playing her love interest, well, not really her love interest, but her fiance, that, and they're very mismatched, because she loves rabbits and he just wants to kill them her fiance is played by Ralph Finnitus or however you pronounce his last name now did you notice something familiar about him well <laughs> let me enlighten you because from Harry Potter he looks completely different in that movie series if you don't know what I'm talking about take a look yeah I didn't know it was him at first either because I wasn't really used to seeing Voldemort with hair and a nose but he does do a good job of playing a villain and at first, I really, I really just was just blown away by the fact that it's them. Because, first of all, she sounds nothing like Bellatrix, and he sounds nothing like Voldemort in this movie. And that is astonishing to me. Well, on to the next one. another movie my sister forced me to watch with her now this movie I recommend on your days that you're sick because it's not very it's not a very very well happy movie it's kind of like a quirky dark comedy sort of thing it's by Tim Burton obviously and if you notice, Helena Bonham Carter's in it 
Yeah. She stars in a lot of his movies. I didn't fully realize it at the time, but they were dating. They dated for over 10 years. They had two kids together. They work perfectly well together and just... Just... She's the secret ingredient that makes his movies so enjoyable. And Corpse Bride is... Basically like if the Nightmare Before Christmas met the Michael Jackson Thriller video. On to the next one. Well, y'all saw this coming. I had to include at least one of Robin Williams' most famous movies. And I have always loved Flubber. It's always made me laugh. And I always watch it when I'm having a, well, not so good day. Because he really had that effect on people. And the fact that he was autistic like myself It, it really gets to me and it's just sad that he is not here today and, and all that but his legacy lives on through his work and he still makes me laugh even if you miss him he can still make you laugh and the fact that he can do that just shows how talented he was and Flubber is an excellent example. But, obviously if you're a diehard Disney fan, you'll especially love him for this next movie. Arguably his most famous role as the genie. I mean, you watch Aladdin the first time, you're just like, wait, where did all that come from? And then you watch it again and you're like, oh, because I had to watch it a few times to get some of the jokes and now that I get them, it makes it all the more enjoyable and he can be funny. He he can sing, he can even be over dramatic sometimes, but, but overall he did a great job playing the genie and in the Kingdom Hearts series, yeah, Dan Castellaneta, you did your best, but your best isn't good enough. There's only one genie and that is Robin Williams and this movie proves it. Anyway. Here are some honorable mentions. I didn't include pictures, but I'm just going to talk about them. So the, hon the honorable mentions are Space Jam, the franchise of the Pirates of the Caribbean, of course Star Wars and Harry Potter of course, but, but anyway, yeah. There are many other movies that I recommend on your not so good days, but obviously time is of the essence, so I can't include all of them. But yeah, and pretty much any of your own personal preferences will really lighten up your day when you're having those not so good days. But anyway, on to King and Aladdin are both my two favorite Disney movies. Aladdin can make you laugh. They can 
make you sing along, and The Lion King could do the same, but obviously there are times when it can make you cry, especially at the very beginning. And you've got to love Mufasa. James Earl Jones, you are a national treasure. Not just a national treasure, an international treasure. Your voice is amazing. And I didn't even fully realize this until I was, well, 20. But Mufasa is voiced by Darth Vader. I knew they were playing the same actor, but it didn't really hit me like, oh crap. When I watched Lion King, I'm hearing Darth Vader lecture Simba. It was just, once it hit me, I'm like, oh crap. Because I love Star Wars, He's, Darth Vader is my favorite character, and I, once again, I love James Earl Jones' voice, I love his, I love his talent. And more importantly, I love The Lion King. Pretty much, if you haven't seen The Lion King, don't talk to me. Just, just don't. Because pretty much everyone has watched The Lion King at least once in their life. I've seen it 56,000 56, times. And I'm not even exaggerating. It's one of Disney's most crowning achievements, other than Frozen, but I'm not going to talk about that, because, well, enough is enough. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and on Friday, there will be a Star Wars video. It's another countdown, and... Well, you have to wait and see. And until then, I'll see you guys later. So enjoy the rest of your day. Check out these movies if you want to. I just felt like doing something completely different because, well, I couldn't come up with, with anything else and I wanted to save the Star Wars video for Friday. And thank you stopping by.